Today, an indictment was unsealed, charging Donald J. Trump with felony violations of our national security laws, as well as participating in a conspiracy to obstruct justice. Breaking right now, special counsel Jack Smith speaks for the first time since that explosive indictment against the former president was made public. It alleges that Donald Trump stored some of the nation's most sensitive secrets in a public ballroom, a bathroom, and even a shower, and then lied to investigators. It is Friday afternoon. I'm Sarah Bloomquist. And I'm Brian Taft. The big story on Action News today is that breaking development in the unprecedented federal indictment of a former president, Donald Trump, now facing 37 counts, ranging from willful retention of national defense information to conspiracy and making false statements. This story has been developing very quickly throughout the day. ABC's Justin Finch is live for us now in Washington with the latest. Justin. Sarah Bryan, the Justice Department unsealing that 49 page indictment against former President Trump and his aide Walt Nauta. The indictment outlining 31 counts of willful retention of national defense information and much more. The Justice Department laying out its argument against former President Donald Trump and his aide Walt Nauta in a 49 page indictment. And I invite everyone to read it in full to understand the scope and the gravity of the crimes charged. The charges, 37 criminal counts in total, including 31 counts of willful retention of national defense information, one count of conspiracy to obstruct justice, and one count of scheme to conceal. The indictment stems from the grand jury probe into Trump's alleged mishandling of classified documents and efforts to hamper their return to the government in accordance with the law. The unsealed indictment includes images of places where Trump kept classified documents, including a bathroom and bedrooms. The dispute resulting in an FBI search of Trump's Mar-a-Lago home last year. We have one set of laws in this country, and they apply to everyone. In New Jersey, the first new images of the former president seen golfing at his private club hours after his federal indictment in the special counsel records investigation. And on his social media platform, Trump defending his aide, Walt Nauta, who is also being indicted. Trump accusing the Justice Department of trying to destroy Nauta's life and also insisting he's done nothing wrong. I'm innocent and we will prove that very, very soundly and hopefully very quickly. Trump has been ordered to appear for arraignment Tuesday in a Miami federal court where Trump appointed District Judge Eileen Cannon is assigned to preside at least for now. And the former president also announcing on social media that his defense lawyer Jim Trustee and John Rawley are exiting his legal team. In a statement, the attorney is calling this a logical moment for us to step aside. And of course, more developments are pending with this investigation in Washington. Justin Finch, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah? Yeah, we'll have to see what happens next. Justin, thank you.